Grrr, I, I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. One half of the Palm Club has been completed. Well, providing that you got a decent score, I'm assuming. <laughs> because remember here, this is golf. Your score could have been a lot higher than what I hit. Could have been a lot lower too, because I was kind of playing sort of poopy. <laughs> But, chances are, even if you play to even par or so, you'll be able to... Oh wow, that was awesome. <laughs> it hit the tree and it hit short. But anyway, even if you're even par at the, at the turn, you'll still probably have enough holes to be victorious in the tournament overall. By the way, uh, in case you didn't notice, there are a bunch of familiar names in the leaderboard here. I didn't, I didn't want to say anything because I wanted you to see that for yourself or notice it for yourself but yeah you can see stuff like Buzzy, Larry and I don't know if that Bubba is a reference to Bubba Watson no I'm just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. it's a reference to another character but uh, yeah <laughs> just had to do that because when I seen Bubba there oh shoot miss hits glad I wasn't using a power shot there but yeah um, check the leaderboards on yours because the, the opponents are kind of you know, shuffled around there, and you might see someone different than me, and whatnot, so yeah, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, this is awkward, make sure you hit it at max, yes, see the thing is, is that I've got the wind in my face, and oh, wow, that's, that cut off a lot of power, that's kind of embarrassing, <laughs> let's see what we got here, can I just like aim, no, I can't just aim straight to the hole, I want to try and chip it in for fun here, uh, that's way too far left. <laughs> um, um, uh, the wind is... Looks like it's shifting, but it's really not. It's just that I'm changing the camera angle, which is why the wind is doing that. Uh, if I aim it a little bit there, it's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna show that it's pointing towards me, but it's really still pointing a little bit toward... To the, you know, to the right. So I'm gonna hit it here and hope that it goes in the hole. Oh, that was close. But you see the ball turned. Uh, into the hole, even though the wind looked like it was straight. It's just because the wind gauge thing up there doesn't really show you the exact direction, per se. You kind of have to feel that out based on your camera angle and whatnot. So yeah, and oh, do not leave your ball short because there's water here, and there's actually water all over the place here. It's kind of a weird looking hole, but it's... This, this water hazard right here is really the only thing that you're going to have to worry about. I mean, there is deep rough to the right here if the pin location is around here, so if you miss hit, it's you're going to have kind of a tricky approach there, but not really, because, you know, it's Mario Golf, and <laughs> deep rough is sort of kind of meaningless in a way. And hit short of the green. Ah! See, if you hit short of the green, like just short of the green, you can cut off the power of your shot. Uh, but that did not work here. It's, it's cut off a little bit too much power, but that is all right. I'm gonna hit it straight at the hole, not changing the cursive because the wind is pushing it. Yeah, pushing it uphill, which I figured would give me the best chance for the chipping, and I was right. So I'm eight under par through tall holes. Palm Club is a little bit harder than Marion Club, as you would expect, being the second area of the game that most people play. I would say <laughs> because you have access to a bunch of areas in the game. But, um, the thing about it is that most people go here for, uh, next because it's just a little bit harder than the Marion Club. But it's not much harder as long as you, uh, play your ball smart. And I'm going for the green in two here because I can cut over the trees, over the bunker, and spectacular. <laughs> oh yeah! See, this is a par five in case you didn't realize that. That's why I was going for the green in two there. Oh yeah! If I can go on the green in two, I'm gonna try to go for the green in two. <laughs> All right, 10 under through 13. We're, it's like we're gaining ground with uh, birdie par, like like 18 under par would be if you got birdies on every hole. I'm gaining ground on that. <laughs> uh, oh shoot, it's gonna catch the ridge and go behind the trees. Oh no, it's not, okay. That's all right then. Um, uh oh, I'm kind of between clubs again, in a way. So I'm gonna hit like that and cut off the power by putting backspin on. Oh shoot, I hit the tree! Mayday! <laughs> well, that's what happens when you hit the tree. <laughs> uh, I'm try hitting... Yeah, it looks about right, about that angle. 
Take a two iron. Hit a vault there. Top spin. Go in the hole. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm on a roll now. <laughs> Moving on. Par three. Ooh, this is. This could be tricky because the pin location is kind of tight. I'm gonna hit it at full. No spin or anything. I just want to make sure it gets up there. Okay. Yeah, looks good. I can make that. I hope. <laughs> I think I should aim a little bit to the left of the hole, though. I'm gonna hit about the same length the putt is, and there we go. Yeah, I hit about the same length about the, as the putt because I wanted to cut the break out of it. The faster the ball goes, the less the the break will be. Uh, the less the break will affect the ball. So yeah. Um, nah, don't go long. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Um, mm, 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 mm. I think I'm gonna try there, cut off the power with- Oh no no, that's too much, cut off! <laughs> so I, I cancelled my backspin by releasing down. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I, I can't believe the shots I'm making this round, this is crazy. Alright, par 5. I don't think I'll be able to make this one in 2, though. Well, maybe I can. The rest is 415. But the thing about this is that there's a bunch of trees left, and it's kind of hard to carry uh, to the green with what clubs you have and whatnot. Plus, the wind is in my face. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk aiming a 2 here, because if I, if I somehow end up short... Um, see that darker area with all the foliage way off at the bottom left corner of the screen? That's out of bounds. <laughs> And if you go there, you actually have to replay your shot from uh, uh, where your shot was. It isn't like a water hazard where you play uh, closest to the edge of where you went in. You go all the way back. So you don't want to go out of bounds ever. <laughs> and that's not bad. Not bad at all. Even though I'm far away from the hole, I don't have to move the cursor or anything like that because, you know, the, the thing is just set up very nicely, uh, because there's no break or anything like that. Look at all the break on this screen! That's crazy! <laughs> um, let's see here... I think I'm gonna aim probably somewhere around here, because I think that's gonna be right in between all the trees, and this is kind of gonna send me a little bit left of where I wanted to go. Just a little bit, but not much. Uh, yeah, it looks good. See, the tree I was worried about was this one right here. But that, I'm clear. We're good. <laughs> okay. Um, again, I feel like I'm between clubs here. Let's do a power shot and take one less club to manipulate this a little bit here. I'll show you what I mean here. Um, see, if your power shot for a 3 iron is 155, uh, 2 iron is 165, 4 wood is 179. So you got kind of like a, a gap here. So what I'm doing here is taking one less club uh, than the club closest to the hole and then doing a power shot, which hits more than the club um, after it. See that? That's a, that's a little trick that I noticed. And that allows me to get a little bit more accurate on my distance when I'm trying to hit full shots. So I don't have to sort of kind of do guesswork on where to hit on the gauge, like to aim for a certain spot on the power gauge or something like that. And there we go. Uh, but remember, if you miss hit on those sorts of uh, shots, you know, if you're using a power shot, you're gonna lose that power, but you know, Take advantage of it when you can, and I shot 16 under par. That was a phenomenal back nine. Way, way better than the first nine, but that's because I kept chipping stuff in! <laughs> Even though I shot better at the here than I did at the Marion Club, I do believe the Palm Club is a bit harder than the Marion Club overall. So, yeah. It was just that I had a really good round with this character here. <laughs> Alright, level up, four up! <laughs> uh, straighten my shots, increase my drive, increase my drive, and increase the meat area and control. There we go! Aw yeah! Alright, victory ceremony! That is one shiny trophy, it's got four pixels that are flashing! 
I don't know if you can see it on the recording though, it might be flashing too fast or too slow for the recording to pick up or something like that, or it's fast flashing at the exact rates and it looks like one or the other or nothing. <laughs> I know how recording goes. I know how it goes. Congratulations on winning Palm Clubs tournaments! But don't settle for that. Keep climbing the ranks. I will. Now that I did nine holes, what I'm going to do here is flop over to here. This is your challenge. Hit the target. This is the Windy Valley Special Hole. This is a really annoying place, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> Just before I end off this part here, I'm going to... Oh, I can't go in this house, really? The door is locked. Dang! <laughs> So there's this guy, he's kind of ornery. I'll acknowledge your skill if you hit the target from here. Alright. What else you got to say? Uh, okay, here we go. So if you hit the target from here, he will acknowledge your skill. So let's hit the target. What's our target? Well, this is Windy Valley, so we got a lot of wind. <laughs> and we got to hit this target. That's why this is annoying. This is really, really annoying, actually. Uh, it almost feels luck-based, but I know it's not. But it's the thing of... It's very difficult to judge this. Like, this is a little too far. So I'm gonna have to redo this. <laughs> and you just keep trying this until you get it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. You gotta have spot on impact for predictability as well. Come on, get in the hole. <laughs> this actually looks pretty good. Oh, don't go outside. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe what I'll do here is try that. Because it seems like my ball is rolling past the hole. So I'm going to hit a power shot with two clubs back. And then let it do its thing, I guess. Uh, that looks more right, actually. Kinda. I think I'm going to try that. I'm taking note of where I put my cursor. Um, on the ground each time so I can adjust accordingly, and yeah, I knew that was gonna be short. I knew it! Bling gauge, I don't know! Probably because I'm getting flustered too! <laughs> Come on! If you do this, by the way, if you try any of the other teeing areas, uh, he will not acknowledge your skill, so yeah. Maybe I should try, like, up here, and then cut back a, a backspin, but hit with less power, but I don't think that's good to use backspin at that particular power, yeah, that might actually be better. Hmm. I'm gonna try that. Okay, so one club up, one club up, hit about there, and hit about there, go in the freaking hold! <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not gonna make it this time because I got, because uh, I missed hit the shot and ended up short. Hit the green! No! <laughs> yep! <sighs> yep! <laughs> A little bit too high. Now that would have been okay if I would have been aiming towards the hole. Nope, not gonna happen. Nope. Nope, never gonna happen this part, is it? <laughs> wait, 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 the says, ah, oh, I was gonna say it has potential if it hits the pin. You hate me, don't you? Too much power. And we go in the hole! <laughs> Short. Ah! Oh, 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 no! Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to hit the right of center of the impact area now because it seems to be cutting off the power uh, just right for some reason. So yeah. <sighs> nope, never gonna make it that angle. <laughs> it's gotta be up above the hole if anything. See the thing about uh, this screen as well is that where they put the hole, there's a break in front of it that pushes you away from the hole. And that's a pretty big pro- <laughs> That's a pretty big problem, and I accidentally tapped that a little bit too quick there, and yeah, I got a little bit twitchy. <laughs> so I just let my ball duff. Hmm, oops. Oops, oops, oops. Come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Purposely miss it. By a lot, it cut off a lot of power. In this windy condition- <gasps> <laughs> You're good for one so young, even though it took me 80 tries. <laughs> I'm thoroughly impressed by your golf skills. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad you're impressed because I'm not impressed by that at all. <laughs> and with that, 
I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I get back over to the Palm Club for... Who knows? Will it be a match game? Will it be side quests? You're going to have to see. <laughs>